A study conducted by one of the country's leading tire manufacturers recently revealed that young drivers are less likely to be able to identify the tire pressure monitoring system warning light than the eye roll emoji. It's easy to laugh at the disconnected millennials for their poor understanding of modern automotive systems, but the fact is, even though the technology has been mandatory on all new cars and light trucks manufactured since 2007, a broad cross-section of the motoring public doesn't understand the functionality of their tire pressure monitoring system. There's a perception among many drivers, as well as technicians, that TPMS has become such a universal product that one system fits all, and that one service procedure will cure all ills. And although tools have made things easier because they can handle more complex diagnostic tasks than ever before, the systems and sensors can still be complicated. Over the past dozen years, millions of light trucks and cars have been sold in the US, all equipped with TPMS. With a sensor inside each wheel, it's clear that the service opportunities will only continue to expand, and there will always be a need for training at the consumer and professional level. The life of a tire pressure monitoring system depends on the battery inside the sensor and miles driven. The more miles that are driven, the more signals the sensors generate and the faster they use up their batteries. There's no sure way to tell for sure how long a battery will last. Some estimates on the low end are five to seven years, while others on the high end give eight to 10 year lifespans. Miles driven may be 12 to 15,000 miles per year, so it can be challenging to gauge accurately. Some experts say the life of a tire pressure sensor is about the same as a good set of high quality tires with a high tread life rating. That means a rating of 500 or higher, which roughly translates to 75,000 miles or more depending on road conditions, type of driving, and wheel alignment. Most sensors should last as long as the first set of original equipment tires, but they probably won't last the full life of a second set of tires. Many specialty TPMS suppliers offer service assortments that cover a wide variety of sensors, including popular replacement sensors. Some suppliers say just a few part numbers can cover 80 to 85% of the market, eliminating the need to stock such a large variety of OEM SKUs. Some applications have clamp-in valve stems with a gasket and hex nut at the base, while others are snap-in with a traditional rubber valve stem. Some aftermarket sensors will fit either type of valve stem. Some replacement sensors must be programmed to the vehicle application with a unique ID number that is associated with a specific wheel location. Many universal sensors also must be programmed with the proper protocol information before they'll communicate and function correctly. Others come pre-programmed with multi-application software already installed and do not require any additional programming, saving installation time and reducing the chance of installer error. Sensor manufacturers say they continue to conduct training sessions with their dealers and undercar shops, explaining what information the TPMS sensors are transmitting and how to understand it. Sensors are doing a better job recognizing tire speeds, pressures, and tread life and less frequent transmission cycles from the sensors mean the batteries last longer than ever. Future technology may help to make the process even easier. Technology is reportedly being developed that will allow sensor batteries to be recharged by the motion of the tire rotations. Thanks for watching.